Yeah, I had to. I had to. Anyway, uh, anyway, what is up, my comic book loving sons of bitches, and hopefully, ladies that might be watching, welcome to another comic book haul. This haul comes to us on July 23rd, 2016. And of course, you've been keeping up with Comic Con. Uh, if you're there, congratulations. Uh, but if you, you're like me, you're stuck at home, keeping up with the updates that are online. We had some doozies today. I mean, you had Marvel come out yesterday. Well, I mean, you know, I should say the 22nd. Uh, you had Marvel come out with some great announcements. I'm very hyped up to hear what, uh, I'm very hyped up to, to, to know of the Netflix TV shows that they're going to have regarding Marvel characters. And of course, DC dropped bonds on the 23rd, giving us a Wonder Woman trailer, which is absolutely majestic. That's that's how I'm describing this movie. Majestic. From the poster that they released, to the trailer, everything about the movie, to me, so far, is majestic. And then they gave us some Justice League footage, and this beautiful art, this is the greatest time to be a comic book lover and a lover of superhero fan of, of superheroes, of comic book lore. This is a great freaking time to be one of, to to be a nerd, a geek, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to put yourself as, if you want to label yourself. This is just fun times, man. And, to keep up with the fun, we have a lot of comic books to show you guys. A lot of good ones, a lot of doozies. So I'm going to go ahead and get to that right now. We also have a few Funko Pops, which I'm very excited to show you guys. So, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we can cover in this video, but yeah, I don't want to really... Um, I don't want to really go into the comic book or the comic con stuff going on because... Uh, it, it, it would just make this video too long, but all, all I'm going to say is that the news coming out of Comic-Con 2016 is outstanding. Brie Lawson, my day, Brie Lee, she's officially cast <coughs> as Captain Marvel. I am so happy. I love Brie Lawson. You have no idea. Um, and I'm very happy for her success. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to the comic books. As always, I got these from Guiding Board Comics and Under City Comics, uh, both in Whittier, California, so shout out to them. Uh, and let's go ahead and get started. Oh, hold on, I lied. Uh, as always, feel free to comment down below. Um, you know, comment on what you picked up this week, uh, what comics you've been reading, what comics do you recommend? Anything you want to talk about regarding comics or Comic Con, uh, you know, the announcements that they talked about, jot it down, put it down below, uh, and we'll see if we can start a discussion. Also, one more thing, I'm sorry, I do apologize if there's a lot of like whooshing sounds being picked up by the camera. Uh, I have a ceiling fan up high, I have a window fan, it is ridiculously hot tonight, and having all these lights on does not help. So, let's do this right away. Let's do this as quickly ha, as possible. So, we start out with the Biker Boy Hall, and uh, pretty, pretty fat stack, pretty healthy. And why not? Let's start with, a, with an indie. We have Xenoscope's Hell Child, issue 5 of 5. This is the finale for this series. Now we start out with normal. We have Thunderbolts, number 3. I'm digging this series, I enjoy it. Uh, well, I mean, I've only read the first issue. Uh, I've been trying to catch up on other comics. 
this is issue number number seven. Huh? Oh, 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 oh! Uh, you know what? I, I, I thought when I saw this, see, I don't even know what I'm picking up. I thought this was um uh. Gambit vs. Deadpool, or Deadpool vs. Gambit. It's actually Spider-Man, Deadpool, number 7. And it's really, really cool. As you can see, it has that, that retro comic book look. Um, reminiscent of, I don't know, I guess the 80s, 90s. Uh, so you can tell from the... Uh, the label up here, the, the sticker, or the, the color price, it's very cool. And you got Spider-Man thinking something, so go ahead and read that if you wish, if you can. And, uh, yeah, really cool. Next we have Still Apocalypse War. Wow, when is that war going to end? We have issue number 10, uh, uh, is it Uncanny? Yeah, <laughs> Uncanny X-Men. Uncanny X-Men Apocalypse War. Do good. Next we have issue number 3 of Nighthawk. Uh, I hear this is getting pretty good reviews, so I really gotta check it out as soon as I can. Nighthawk, issue number 3. Next we have number 8 of Guardians of Infinity, really cool cover, lots of good stuff going on with that cover. <sighs> Next we have issue number 10 of All New Wolverine, which is a Civil War 2 tie-in. By the way, I read issue number 3 of Civil War 2. Uh, the one that had a death in the story. Ah, uh, they really need to pick up this series. They need to pick it up. This is, uh, it's, it's not looking great. It's not bad, but this series is not looking great. I'm not really convinced. So anyway, we have issue number nine of the Ultimates, a comic series I'm really, really come to enjoy. Very beautiful artwork with this series. Now we have issue number 9 of Nova, which is also a Civil War 2 tie-in. And I picked it up for that reason. I am trying to get as many Civil War tie-ins as I can that, that, that look good. There's a few that I passed on this, this uh, week. But being that Nova is somebody that, that is in um, All New, All Different Avengers, which is a series that I, I enjoy. I'm starting to really like his character. So I figured, you know what, I'll, I'll check this out. Maybe I'll start reading it from, from now on. We'll see. And here's another one. Th this I was on the fence about. I love the cover, by the way. We have Spider-Man 6, a Civil War 2 tie-in. This, of course, is actually Miles Morales, which of course Amazing Spider-Man is Peter Parker. I was on the fence about this because I read a review. It said it said to have very little to do with Civil War. It's just basically uh, Miles entering that story arc. Um, I figured why not? You know, I've been kind of passing up on. Miles, uh, and I should probably check it out, and I, I don't know, I just figured why not, uh, it's a nice collectible if I don't decide to read it, I don't know. So now we move on to DC, oh DC, Sons of Virtues, the stuff that they announced at Comic Con is just awesome. So now of course we have issue number 3 of Batman, We've got some rebirth titles. Batman, issue number three. Uh, here's another one I was on the fence about. Uh, but the, uh, Brian over at Bargain Board, he said that it's really good. So, why not? 
and of course it's 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 number one. It's an introduction, and I really try to get as many of these as I can. So we have Black Girl and the Birds of Prey. Uh, IGN gave it kind of a mixed review, so I kind of hesitated, but I'll take Brian's word over them. Uh, and I think this looks like the kind of series that has potential. Speaking of Batgirl and Batman, huh? Huh? Killing Joke. I don't know if you heard that controversy. Uh, we're talking about that next week, I guess, when the movie has been seen. So now we have Green Arrow, number three. This is one I'm very much looking forward to getting into. Green Lanterns, number three. This I was actually going to give up on. I mean, I haven't started reading it. But, you know, it's like I told Brian, you know, sometimes you you have to kind of put some stories aside. You have to sacrifice some. You can't get them all. He pretty much said that this is a really good comic. And I have heard from other people say it's really good. So, I'll stick with it. I'll collect it. And eventually, I'll start reading it. And we'll go from there. Um, but until then, great colors. Here's yet another <clears throat> another one I was on the fence about. But again, it's a number one. Uh, you know, if I like it, I like it. If not, it's a good collectible. So we have the Hellblaze. Issue number one. Rebirth. Why not? You know, let's let's see how it goes. Good old John Constantine. Let's see if you can still. I don't know. Uh, issue number three of Superman. Pretty cool. I am in love with this cover. I love this cover. We have Justice League number one, and just let me zoom in. On that artwork, I love, I love the way Superman looks. Wonder Woman, of course, looking wonderful. Look at that. And then Batman, being the ultimate badass. Just look at that. That is just, this is premium art right here. And then we move on to Injustice number 14. Now, I did hear that the trade book came out, so I'm pretty sure this is the last one for year 5. I'm sure they'll continue it with year 6. And lastly, is one I'm, I'm happy to present, but I'm kinda sad because this is the last one. I know that for a fact that this is the last one, uh, it will be rebirth, it will be reborn with rebirth, but still kind of sad, you know. I, I really like this series, I'm behind on it, but from what I've read, I love it. And that is New Suicide Squad, issue number 22. And from what I understand, this is all about Harley Quinn. So, I am very, very, very much looking forward to reading this one. Alright, so that is the Dragon Board Hall. Nice hall, if you ask me. My sister and I got some really good ones. So then, of course, we head on to Under City, where we get a lot of variants and some standard issues. So, pretty good stuff right there. So, we start out with. Uh, again, I guess we'll start out with some indies. We have cover... Cover B and C, issues 5 of 5 of Hellchild. So, here we go. Here's, here's cover number B. My sister is reading this comic. She likes it. And then we have issue number C, which has some very... Lovely artwork. Then we have some coffee. 
Hello, my sister and her coffee. This is issue number 29 of season 10. And it has been confirmed that they, they are going to make season 11. So my sister should be happy about that. Here's issue number 10. No, excuse me, issue number 29. Standard issue. And this here is the very Okay. So now we got some rebirth variants. Uh and one duplicate of Superman. Let's see. Where are you? Where are you? What am I saying? Alright, so we have a variant of Green Lanterns, which is pretty cool. A green arrow variant of issue number three. The green lantern was uh, is also issue number three. So here's green arrow issue number three variant. Here's issue number three of Batman variant. I mean, I'm pretty sure these are variants. They don't really look like variants. They don't really say that they're variants, but. We have the other issues from back and board, so I can assume that these are variants. And then a variant of Justice League number one, which is just almost as cool as the last one. Very cool indeed, but the last one is just beautiful. We also have a Superman variant. And if these aren't technically variants, let me know. Next we have issue number 6 of Supergirl. The Adventures of Supergirl. By the way, did they, it still says it. I don't believe it. It still says based on the hit CBS drama or series. Change that! Anyway, I love her. Next we have some Lucas Stand, issue 2 of 6. If you recall, I told you guys about this. I don't know much about this series except for the fact that it looks pretty badass. And it's I could sell the producer of, the creator of Sons of Anarchy. So because of that, I had to check it out. Next we move on to some Marvel. We got issue number 5 of Black Widow. Pretty cool, right? I love Black Widow. We have issue number 7 of A-Force. Still missing number 4. I'm not happy about that. I need to find that. And then lastly we got some Star Wars comics. Issue number 21. Pretty interesting. It's covered with Stormtroopers. So I'm not sure what's going on with this. But... I look forward to finding out. And issue 23 of Star Wars Darth Vader. They're going to be ending this soon. I'm really sad about that. But, hey, you know, all things have to come to an end. Uh, I'm looking forward to catching up on Darth Vader. I've been reading the, uh, the miniseries Star Wars comics, namely Princess Leia, um, I'm trying to keep the picture alive. Princess Leia, Lando, and Chewbacca. Chewbacca was fun. I like that one a lot. So, I gotta get back on track and start reading the Star Wars comics and the Darth Vader comics that I've been missing out on. I can't get this in the bag. The bag is torn. Okay, so lastly, we got three really cool Funko Pops. I am so psyched to show you guys these. So, I got the prices on them. Uh, don't worry about the price, we don't pay that price. Had to get them, they had them, why not? <laughs> so cute. <sighs> Whoa. I hate it when I yawn uh, while doing a video. 
I was actually trying to record a Star Trek video. Not for the, the new movie, but I was trying to talk about past movies. I put myself to sleep on camera. Maybe I'll upload that. No, I won't. Anyway, we have Luke Skywalker from The Force Awakens. Old Wise Luke. I love it. Next. I was so happy when we got the, the one with the staff. Now we have the one with the lightsaber, and that is Ray with the lightsaber. That is so perfect. Here's the image. I love, I love the images on the side. Here's the Luke, by the way. Ah! But look at that. Look at my Bay. Oh, he's so cute. Ray is Bay. Ray is what the fuck did I just do? And lastly, this one's really special. This is actually an exclusive from, uh, what is this? Summer Convention? I don't know. Where did this come from? It's, it's an exclusive, but we have a, uh, we have a Superman. We have a Superman from the pop, from Batman v Superman. And it's the false god statue, or the statue with the false god written on its chest. So that is so cool. I am so happy and grateful for Dragon Ball to have carried these. So, very, very cool. Um, my sister saw it, she jumped on it right away, she says, yes, I gotta have it. And here it is, not exactly cheap, not like overly priced, but eh, it's, it's, it's up there for a Funko Pop. Ah, this is definitely, uh, yeah, this is a good one. Yes. So that is it, people. Thank you for watching. Uh, you know, like I said, you want to talk about Comic Con, put that down below. We are living in such beautiful times, so don't take it for granted. We have everything we've ever wanted to see. Maybe it's not perfect, maybe it's not exactly what we wanted, but be grateful. Uh, you know, we get to see these icons on screen. So, thank you for watching once again. Give this video a like. Um, let's see what else. Uh, share it if you wish. And don't let anybody tell you're too old to collect comics and celebrate geekiness because those people just have never been to Comic Con, apparently. Or they don't deserve to go to Comic Con. I wish I could go to Comic Con. Anyway, Superman, take us out. What's up?